for subdubbing. <laughs> Slapping around. Shit. What did I do to deserve that? How are you doing, man? What's up, Cop God? Ghost and L. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> Dubbing is like watching his uh, watch on his wrist the whole time. Oh, what's this? Cameras? Ah, oh, there you go. Now I have to run a game in order to stream from my Xbox. Dubbing. If I'm not running a game, I can't stream with the Twitch app. I have to run a game in order to, to get a stream going. How's everybody doing? Cop got with the menu. Only 38 more cooking shows to go. Sixty-nine. <laughs> what are you suggesting, Cop God, for th uh, sixty-nine? Do you know what uh, tarta ten is? An upside-down pie. <laughs> sixty-nine. Episode sixty-nine. Well, we're we're a long away from that. We've got a lot of time. Before we reach that, 38 more, shit. You do the math. It's like at least one show a week, sometimes two, but you do the math how long, how much weeks that will take. But now first, episode 31. Um, got the ingredients down below. We're gonna use uh, for the salad. It's like a Spanish salad. Gonna use spinach. I got some chicory. I don't. I don't know, or chicory. I don't, I can't pronounce it. The English word. We call it witlof. Yes, you heard it right. Witlof. With love. It's kind of got like a bitter taste. Um, I tried to find the red version of this as well, but I, they didn't sell it, unfortunately. So I got uh, some uh, lettuce over here. I got three kinds, but I'm just gonna use the Lolo Rosso, which is this one over here. It's like a crispy, crispy salad. Um, I got, uh, I need some stuff as other stuff as well. Got the Monchego cheese. That's like a uh, real cheese this time. It's ma it's made out of uh, sheep's uh, milk. It comes off the uh, off the sheep. Um, I got some pine nuts, which are mad if mad expensive, if you ask me. And um, I got a an orange, which I'm gonna use. Or you could use mandarin or clementines. But I'm gonna use orange. And uh, for the dressing, I got a uh, red wine vinegar, honey, and I'm gonna use some olive oil. That's gonna be the dressing. And then I'll show you the chickens, which I already put in the oven like uh, 15 minutes ago. Hold on, I need uh, something to take it out. Don't wanna burn my hands here. And I got the oven on the grill setting. So it's long, it's not finished at all. Got it on lower temperature, 160, a little bit. There you go. 
So that's like uh, marinade. So I, all I did was olive oil with garlic, uh, bell pepper powder, some chili flakes, some sea salt, and I'm currently grilling it in the oven. What's up, clips? Let's see. A massive Cornish pasty. Uh, dubbing, he knows a thing or two about cooking. We need dubbing cooking shows on Twitch. Yes, it's a good thing we got the chicken farm over here. You get some tasty chickens. We have to sacrifice them. As a matter of fact, we need for our next dish, we need to sacrifice a chicken too. But that's uh, going to be next week. Uh, a proper Cornish is called a miner's pasty. Meat one side and an apple pie or dessert the other. Hmm. Maybe it translates different to my language. I don't know. Did I ever heard of this? When you say pasty, I think of pasta. <laughs> Sacrifice. Oh, we can make another one. Um, for the dip like the sauce if you will um, I'm gonna use yogurt so I took the Greek one there are so many I was in front of the the shell you know with all the yogurts and dude there are so many different yogurts you can buy there it's crazy I just took the Greek one because it's kind of you know it's quite firm quite thick that's what she said uh, but I'm gonna like spice it up. I got a lemon here. I'm gonna use the chili flakes a little bit, the dried ones. And I got the fresh ones over here. So that's gonna be for the sauce, for the chicken. So you got this kind of smoke, smoky taste from the bell pepper powder. And I got like, a, it's like a really intense one. Where is it? Let's see. Oh, I put it back in there. I use it a lot on the cooking streams. Uh, where is it? Here it is. What's up, bitter man? So you can buy this at the supermarket, but that's like, first of all, very expensive because mostly it's in like a glass bottle, which is more expensive than the powder itself. And that's what you're basically paying for for the for the glass little you know let's see they put it in something like this you know but you're basically paying for the glass the package instead of the so i'm also always buying it at this chinese supermarket Hold on. this camera is not and it's just in a little plastic bag but it's also the quality is so much better got this really intense flavor um, I like to marinate my chicken with that how are you doing bitter man I saw your uh, skateboard video there with the uh, I think it just said uh, li the little poop emoticon as a description but uh, for me I c if I even try to push myself forward with that thing I would already fall so for me it's already amazing farm fresh hypes let's go guys all right so I'm gonna start washing this uh, salad so I'm just gonna use the Lolo Rosso it's like a crunchy salad I didn't I didn't mean to use this salad this uh, lettuce but um, yeah I wanted to buy the red chicory Ch chicory I don't know how to pronounce it um, I got just the white ones I couldn't find the red ones so I, I decided to take this one instead I'm doing I'm doing mighty fine bitterman Thanks for asking. I hope all is swell on your end. Thanks for tuning in. 
gonna grab something to eat. Cupcat. Uh, Cupcat knows how to uh, be prepared for the money shot. He knows how to be prepared. Just get some food in your belly, otherwise it's gonna be hard to watch. Everybody leaves chat at that moment. Yeah, I got... First, you would never see my face during the cooking shows, hardly. Uh, better man. But now we got the double cam hype. So I'll put some spinach in there as well. Wash it. Which I don't have a camera for. But yeah, I'm washing the salad. And the spinach. <laughs> if only I actually did some research on that how much it costs to send food and stuff like that but it's like more it would be more useful and cheaper in a way if you like ship larger numbers instead of one thingy you know I guess I, get, I gotta give everybody around the world some do like a mass production I <laughs> oh, appreciate that bitter man I'm glad you like it are looking fire and one part is literally on fire all right I'm gonna use half of the chicory I still don't know how to you guys gotta help me out is it chicory Wait, doesn't Google Translate do like a voice, like a robot voice? Let's see. We call it with love. With love. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what it says. We say... Like basically, wit is white in our language. Um, let's see. There you go. Can I s pump up the volume here? Let's see what they say. Chicory. 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 <laughs> I love that word. Chicory! <laughs> I'm gonna save the other half of the chicory in the fridge. It's gonna be for my girlfriend. But I'm putting it in an air sealed bag because it has this habit to lose color quickly. The chicory! Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's a funny word. All right. I'm gonna make like a mini salad for myself. I'm drying out the other, the spinach. All right, up next, I got myself an orange. Again, I'm only gonna use half.
Ooh, it's juicy. Because I want to have it like this, you know. Actually, I'm going to take a bread knife here. I haven't really thought about it, how I was going to do this. I don't want too much of it either. Because I want some spare. Just slurp. board a little bit here so I'm gonna save that for myself all right well, that's quite enough for me There you go. Let's take a quick look at, at the chicken real fast before we continue. Ooh, sizzling. All right, cop Ooh, it sizzles. Good heavens. Alright, I got some pine nuts here. I'm gonna quickly put them in first. Uh, let's see. You can bake them in the pan, but I'm, I've always preferred the pine nuts just in the oven and shoveled it a lot. how far along this chicken is nearly there Italian ingredients to make pasta sauce. What what kind of sauce? Sorry, I was cleaning up here. Manchego. I got the cheese here. Because the whole cheddar, everybody who was here with the cheddar case. Um, this time, what's up, uh, Martin? How are you doing, man? This time around. Got Montego for real, and it's made out of the milk of sheep. And I think it's also the name of the sheep race itself. I'm not sure, but Montego. Oh, okay. 
It <laughs> I thought you meant pasta sauce. <laughs> Let's have a taste here. Let's see. Mm. I was doing good, Martin, and now I'm doing even better. Because this cheese is making me happy. Mm. Mm. Mm, you can share uh, share it on uh, the Discord uh, dubbing if you want. I can uh, like open up the mm, recipe uh, page for you. Yes, we do love cheese. That's true. But this is not Dutch cheese. This particular one. But I guess what Martin is trying to say, it doesn't matter where it's from, we just love cheese. I'm gonna toss the pine nuts around. Manchego. All right, then I'm gonna make the dressing for the salad. It's real basic. Some olive oil. Like a spoon. Manchego is a cheese made in the Lachenga region of Spain from the milk of the sheep of the Manchega. Oh, so. so it's called Manchego, but the particular sheep where it's from is called Manchega. So that's it's aged between 60 days and two years. Oh, well, there you go, dubbing. So you might think the sheep has the same name. By the way, this is uh, red wine vinegar. But I think it's just vinegar where they add like grape juice or whatever. Doesn't make it less delicious. And honey. Like maybe two teaspoons of honey. So that's the dressing for the salad. Again, I'm gonna shuffle the pine nuts. I'm gonna do that quite often. Because it can go really quick all of a sudden at one point. Oh yeah, the oranges. Alright, now we're heading on to the dip for the chicken. So I got the yogurt. It's almost like uh, what we would call quark, quark. It's really firm.
So on the rest is more like watery, like water-like. We don't want that. Got a lemon. Farm Fresh. Welcome back, Cup God. Quark. Quark? <laughs> Quark. <laughs> Quark. I think English people spell it like this. I think. I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> yeah, the thing is with food names or like ingredients, then it can some always be completely different. Like one peop one person would say, uh, for example, aubergine, but somebody else might call it eggplant. You know, so it's 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 always difficult with translations for words in when it considers ingredients. Oh, didn't rightly realize there was a seed in it. Multiple ones. Hold on. I thought it was like the ones without, but no. We don't want that. All right. Uh, chili flakes. Just a couple. I'm not going to use the other half of the lemon. Otherwise, uh, let's see. So, Cop God says aubergine. We say aubergine over here as well. But funny thing is, at least from my experiences, uh, if I was like on vacation in a different country, if if they would have like an English menu, then it most of the times it just said eggplant. So it does feel like that one is more used throughout the mainstream, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Like with uh, with the chicory, for example, chicory. Um, I I, I did, didn't know. I had to look it up what it was in English for that particular vegetable. And it surprised me. It was like that. It's completely different. Instead of vacation, I say holiday. Oh, we, we, we say vacation, I'm on vacation. I'm going to take out the seeds here. Um, let's see, we need like a cup. There you go. Gonna toss the pine nuts again. No, you 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 shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> That's not a good plan. 
if you just cleaned a, a red pepper. No, I like it spicy. A little bit more. There you go. No, I thought I had some parsley left, but I guess not. I probably used it all. I use parsley a lot. Fresh parsley. But I think I already used up all I had. You did it many times, oof. I guess if you do it a lot, then you'll, you'll know and you get it becomes like automatic that you, you don't drop your eyes anymore. Because you just know, you just don't do it. You gotta be careful with that. Right, this can just putting all the stuff back in the fridge, like all the rest of the spinach and such. We don't want that to go to waste. Uh, dubbing done it many times. That's not. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for the. Camera wobbling there. Can you get scotch bonnet pro peppers? Probably. Probably. Must be some place around, uh, around where you can buy it. I don't know this particular one though. Is it like peppers drained in whiskey? <laughs> Very tasty and hot. Let's see this chicken again. Oh. The outside is so crunchy. Peanuts are almost there as well. Oh, now we gotta wait a little bit before we continue. Gotta wait. Very tasty and hot. Let's see. Alright, well, the timing was almost perfect, but we gotta wait like two, three, maybe four minutes before everything is done. Maybe we should have cut up the veggies slower, but uh, we had episodes in the past where we had to wait, wait 30 minutes, so I guess we can survive these five as well. What is everybody else having for dinner tonight? Like over here it's uh, 5.40 p.m. So it's nearly 6 o'clock. That's the dinner time for Dutch people. I, I think most people eat around 6, maybe 7. I think that's quite early uh, compared to other countries. I know what I can do. I can set up the money shot table here. Martin is having pasta. What kind of pasta, Martin?
Carbonari. Cop card is having meatballs and pasta. Everybody's eating pasta. Morningstar is trying to get a good connection to watch. Oh, shit. What's up, fucktart? Good morning, star. Pasta is life. At least one time a week. At least one time. Pasta carbonara. Nice. Do you make the, the sauce yourself, Martin? Or is it out of a jar? Like the pre-made. I think everybody up in uh, the States and Canada, it's still too early to think about what's for dinner. They first have to think what's for breakfast. Let's see, what time is it there? It's the morning. Or unless you're on the east side, I guess, then it's already past noon. You need to make it yourself? Nice. Mm. I might have to do that too this week. It's been a while since I ate that type of pasta. It's always been tomato sauce and meatballs lately. But like the tiny ones through the sauce. Dutch cultivated. <laughs> So uh, that's what you do when you're at home, or Martin, or you have to cook for your buddies as well. Um, let's see, I need like a... Okay, I'm going to put the chicken on this, I guess. Now I need something else for the laptop. Give me a sec guys here, moving stuff around. Kind of a messy episode today. I think the chicken is right. Yes. Oh, it's sizzling. Lovely sounds. Los Polo! Magnifico! Hmm. So I might too, but I'm gonna eat one, it's too much for me. Alright. Dressing. Some lovely pine nuts. So that's the salad, spinach, chicory, um, unfortunately not the red chicory. We'll get a better uh, lightning shot uh, when we do the money shot in a bit, guys. Pine nuts, Montego cheese, lovely. All right. I need like a fancy cup for my yogurt dip. There you go. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of the same one, only smaller. <laughs> Take one of the chicky chicky. Now, which one has the crunchiest skin? This one.
Um, Morningstar with the menu. There you go, Mr. Morningstar. Well, it was close to the salad we want. We just couldn't find the, the red uh, chicory. I still think it's a funny word, chicory. Who made that up? Anyway, here's the chicken. I use the grilled setting of my oven, which I hardly ever use. I don't know why, but grilled the chicken there. It's a good thing we got the chicken farm over here. So I'm going to put this on the table and then it's time for the money shot, as people like to call it around here. So I'm going to switch the cameras around. So we got a short intermission overlay. On the base we have a restaurant. But you, then you have to cook it yourself, Martin. Oh wait, he's home alone. He's home alone today. Mm. He's running naked around his house. All right, I'm gonna switch uh, around the cameras and then uh, we'll get ready. All right, all right, all right. Um, why isn't it switching to the other one? Hello, work with me here. Yes, we got the COVID hair hype. All right. I hope the lightning here is good. So this is the salad with the mon what's up Julia welcome welcome with the with the Monchego cheese the spinach and the chicory and the orange and we sacrificed chickens this week at the chicken farm so we were able to make this grilled chicken with a lovely spicy yogurt lemon dip COVID hair woohoo so I just took out the chicken so I'm gonna start with the salad oh by the way this I, I know Clips love, loves this watch 
He's been trying to buy this from me. But my girlfriend said it's not for sale. All right, let's start with the salad here. <laughs> Fucking around. He's probably still still disappointed. fresh but also bitter fuck that mm. Mm. lovely I'm doing good Julia I hope you're fine too oh I have to send you something when I'm done a screenshot. You made you made steak? Is that what you're or streak? Killing streak. Steak, yeah, yeah, nice. Mm. I wish I could eat like beef meat more. Let's uh, see. Gatrix XL? No, I don't know how to pronounce that. Appreciate that follow, man. Welcome to the chicken farm. Oh, Gator. Cool, cool. Well, welcome, Gator. Appreciate that follow. Imagine that... <laughs> like next week, we got a chicken recipe too. Imagine it would be better than this one. Mm. Nice chicken. I'm actually gonna take a slice there. Like it's looking at me the whole time. So are you eating just steak, Julia, or other stuff too? like veggies or anything. I should just eat this with my hands, but I'm not gonna do that in front of you guys. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Carrots and potatoes in the oven. Oh, a salad with feta cheese and damn, that sounds good. How how are the rolls um, divided? Like, do you normally do the cooking or is it like 50-50, Julia? Mm. Chicken is good. I like the crunchy outside skin the most you 
you just need wait you need to wait for the guest oh you made it for for multiple people or just the two of you 50 50. around here it's a hundred to zero Oh, nice. That sounds fun. I don't see my family a lot. I wish I could. So that sounds like fun. Hmm. So you're, you're going to show off with the steak, huh? I think it's the most fun way to uh, to cook if if you know you got some people over, you know. And I guess that's that's what cooking is. At least for the ones that enjoy it, that they put their heart and soul into it. Well, maybe not that much, but you know, they just enjoy doing it and then they give it to their visitors, like family or whoever is coming over for dinner. And then they're all excited and they love it. And that's what you do it for, you know, making people happy. Basically like uh, somebody who is an artist and sings songs, you know, and touches people like the lyrics or whatever. That's what you do it for, right? For me, same thing with cooking. You're making people happy. Hmm. Anyways, Julia, enjoy it. And from what I've heard about what you, you what you made, they're probably going to be very happy afterwards. <laughs> it's we faced in the tent eh? one smell is <laughs> hello <laughs> enjoy it Julia thank you smell thank you thank you So I'm thinking about not doing Bayonet Friday tonight. Whoever is always playing the Bayonet Friday. Mm. Much fun, Julia. Have fun. Have a great night. Thanks for dropping by. And enjoy the food. Yeah, she's having some steak tonight. And here I am with my chicken. PUBG night. <laughs> well, maybe. I was more like into mo watching movie kind of mood. But yeah, it's Friday. Hmm. Kind of a messy episode today. For, at least for me. I don't know yet. I still, I got a feeling when I browse to, uh, to Netflix, it's, I don't know. I either already saw it all the way out, like 
<laughs> all the way out what the fuck like all the way through all the seasons you know or it just doesn't uh, appeal to me I often find myself trying it out anyway whatever I think is like oh maybe I should watch that then but then halfway or sometimes even in the, in the beginning I'm like nah this is not <laughs> this I don't like this Enjoy, smell, enjoy. Still, I think if I were to have the, the red chicory as well, instead of just the white one, wouldn't have been better. Now we got the the Lolo Rosso salad. Did you watch on the cover yet? Um, isn't that the show with the dude from the Jumbo commercial who plays the dad? I don't know what his name is. Yes. I guess I could try it. I did I did see it in the news once that when it just got out that people were complaining that there weren't subtitles because they couldn't understand the dialect. I never seen those movies, the new ki new kids movies. Hmm. I do think I did put a little bit too much of the red wine vinegar into it, into the dressing, because now I'm getting to the bottom of the bowl, it's like a bit intense. Or maybe I should have added more honey, I don't know. It's just. It was a giant success though, those movies. But yeah, I'm not uh, into that uh, sort of humor, you know. I think it's maybe the hardest movie to make or scary movies and not like the ones where all the teenagers get slaughtered type of horror movies but like more psychological scary in a way or a combination of those two but um, and comedy movies like it's if you want to make an action movie man the more cool stuff is blowing up the better you know the better the better the fighting scenes and but to make a good comedy it's hard <laughs> you van het hek
Ik weet dat ik vroeger helemaal Bert Visser. Back in the days, I really love Bert, Bert Visser. Hmm. Back to the chicken. Six Underground is a good action slash comedy. I guess those type of movies are my favorite. Where they combine uh, comedy and action. Just fun and easy to watch, you know. No smell. I didn't. I didn't even know they did. I guess it makes sense. Because they both have the energy of five people combined. <laughs> I'm kind of dismantling the chicken over here. Take all the meat off the bone. Hmm. Not a lot of meat to this one. They might it might seem like a big chicken, but Sounds good, sounds good, smell. Dubbing is a mega chicken. So far we only have one chick on air at the farm, which is No Mercy Fella. He has more than one million chickens. Hmm. Wow. The salad. It was was okay I, I, I should have guess I think I did too much of the vinegar mm. anyway it was still still really good I mean it, if there's pine nuts I'm already sold <laughs> also the cheese was delicious not not them fake cheddar types uh, situations <laughs> Um, yeah, let's see. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, you guys want to see some Battlefield? Not from me. But from... Oh, she just went offline. Ah. Oh, really? I was about to type your girl Queen Bee and then it disappeared. Uh, there are more videos from them together. Just watch the one I sent first. Okay. I will. I will. I will check it out. On the Xbox, right? Yeah. I didn't know that they were like, uh, they did a performance together. <laughs> yes, I just ate the last piece of chicken and salad, Frank. <laughs> What's up, homie? Yeah, 
yes, you did. But maybe that was a good thing, Frank. Maybe that was a good thing. Especially the chicken. All that's left is some bone over here. No, found a little spare meat there. Those two together are so fun to watch. But do you have to watch the one first or does the order don't really matter? Smell. Um, let's see. Who do we got? Ghost and L. Wait, is he streaming in English or not? Hold on. Let's see. No, Dutch. Um. What else do we got? Rainbow. Rainbow is there. Back on Tom Clancy. All right. Well, everybody, was a bit messy today. Um, next time, we'll do better. Oh, I got a little bit of spinach left here. Uh, I'm quitting. I can never hang out on Twitch anymore. What are you talking about, Bitterman? What happened? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I've been trying to switch to that overlay for <laughs> for a minute now. I need to look into this. I think the the program is choking up a lot of the memory of the laptop, I think. It becomes all slowish. Um are you there? Why is it not working here? Fuck it. I'm confused. I don't know anymore what's going on with the whole program over here. Um, about tonight? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to send a message in the group chat on Xbox where we have some people that uh, always play the Bell uh, of uh, Bayonet uh, Friday. So I'm going to check on them and then... Uh, um, so I'm not sure if I'm coming back or not tonight. Depends. Sometimes you just want to chill. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Uh, we're going to say hi to Rainbow. Rainbow Six Siege. And... Oh! Hello? God damn it. Crazy stuff is going on. Everything is going to south. Like we say, every, everything goes down from here with the stream. Everything's fucked up. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. <laughs>